we have got ourselves a Halo Wars 2 3 versus 3 match where I am playing as Pavium. We have Isabel as Green as our teammate and Light Blue is going to be playing as Atriox. And on the other side we have Orange that is going to be Isabel, Yellow is going to be Atriox and Red is going to be Arbiter. And so, we're going to see how this game plays out. We're starting off with a classic supply and gen opener with a chopper made right away to go ahead and fight for these supplies right away. And if this is able to be successful, we're going to have a good supply lead at the beginning and that means we can get our second gen right away. We did put our point in burnout, which unfortunately we have not used yet. There we go. We're going to go ahead and use it. The chopper is here to go ahead and push back anyone that decides to show up, but their marine saw what we were going for, and so therefore they ended up retreating appropriately, so then that way they don't lose those marines. So, a little hindsight for this game. This game is going to be a relatively long one, which means there's going to be some nice back and forths on top of that. There may be a tough situation that ends up happening later on in the game, and right here, Red is going to try, Orange is going to try and steal the mini base from our side, but we're going to go ahead and deny that right away and send a chopper to go ahead and deal with that marine, so then that way they don't get the mini base that's going to be at the bottom. They only delayed us just a little bit, which is not that bad, but we want to at least be able to stop this marine from going ahead and getting that vision, because if they get that vision, they're going to get that mini. And they're getting relatively close and we're blocking it off really well with the chopper we weren't able to grab the mini but our teammate was able to grab it right on time so good block there and we're starting off relatively strong and so i just want to say hope that you've been enjoying this week of content so far hopefully it will stay this way consistently we will go ahead and see how that turns out down the line and if you like this video i know i'm saying it very early feel free to leave a like or subscribe let me know down in the comments if this was a good game, nevertheless. So, we're going to start going with chopper production, mainly because of the fact that it's we have engineers, we're going to have choppers. It's a good combination to have as a whole, especially since we're not going later. That way we can get some rams off, we can heal our choppers, and then we can go ahead and fall back once again and get the get the heals and just rinse and repeat but it does turn out we're actually going with a mixture comp of hero and choppers and engineers so we'll see if the economy is going to be able to support that but let's go ahead and see what's going on with orange and so orange has shown that they have turrets at their base so therefore they're not going to try and go after any type of pressure play whatsoever and so this means we need to go ahead and grab a second base i don't know why we're prioritizing ourselves a hero right away but that's what we're going to do that's still going to be all right i still think it's going to be worth going for the expansion base instead we're going to try and deny this node but we really won't be able to so they're going to be able to capture that and we are going to continue to work on our economy but what is it that we have here so atrox is starting to push our side which is going to be a little bit problematic. We do have some choppers to go ahead and respond to this, but if they go ahead and push us by the time our pavium comes out, we're going to be at a little bit of a detriment over here. Our choppers are trying to get here on time. Isabel is using her hologram, which is going to help with damage if I decide to use my choppers out here, but it turns out I am not. Our pavium has just came out, which is not going to be that bad. It's going to just help with the range and the attack. And it's going to help kind of push stuff up. Nope, they know that my pavium is not upgraded. So they want to go ahead and try and capitalize on this. So now I have to go ahead and retreat my pavium. Because if not, he's going to be taken care of. And we don't want that happening. The chopper is going to continue to be a distraction. While we just go ahead and run back to our base. And now we're kind of stuck in one base. We got double teamed very early on between yellow and orange. And therefore, orange doesn't really have much to be fair. But... They are over here nevertheless and it is kind of a problem so I just need to find a way to just do as much damage as I can getting rid of some units and it does look like that's happening. Light Blue has gotten themselves a third expansion base which it was kind of a misplay in regards to expansions that we needed to have and Orange has shown up as well now with their hero and this is going to be a little bit of a problem. We have an engineer that's going to be able to supply us some heals but now I'm definitely getting 2v1 on our side 
And great wide move coming from Pavium to go ahead and do some damage on those fronts, but with the engineers there and everything, this is going to be a little bit of a problem. With the self-destruct that we have and no longer any vision on that right-hand side, we can't grab a second base just yet. And so we're kind of in this weird situation because now Light Blue, they ended up self-destructing their base in order to go ahead and be able to grab the right-hand base so I can take that middle base to help our teammates out. And because of that, I kind of put Light Blue in a very tough situation over here where they don't really have an army. Red is here and they're doing some great damage. So, all in all, we're kind of in a tight spot. We're going to go ahead and go with Wraith Invaders here, which is kind of weird. So, we're we will get a raid camp. And I don't know if really this is the right move. It's not like our economy can really support that. There was a good Mac, by the way. But... I don't know how we're going to go ahead and defend this situation over here. Red's still going to be taken care of on that right hand side, but we don't really have a good opportunity here to get some pressure in on this left hand side right now. Shield gen is going to come up, which is nice. And finally, I'm going to go ahead and grab a second base and use our grunts to come after, after the nodes. But right now, they've got a lot of resources and a lot of power coming in. And now green is starting to go ahead and push this right hand side and orange juice hologram on the right hand side as well so let me correct myself yellow's pushing mid and red's pushing right hand side and used hologram on that army and so it's going to be up to me to try to shift over to help our teammates out just a little bit the turrets are focusing down on the engineers which is nice to see we do have a wraith invader which is going to be kind of useless honestly but our pavium is going to get closer we're going to get to use the y move we do have some engineers to help heal the structures, so it's not like they're going to really be able to do much. And they lost all their engineers because of that, which is a nice thing to see. So, we're going with this weird 1-1-1 build with Wraith Invaders. Our economy can't really support this with the fact that we're only on two supply, upgraded supply pads and two upgraded gens. So I don't really know what the thought process here is, and Yellow actually grabbed a second base. And as you can see, we want to make Reavers, but we don't really have anything to support that. And we've actually abandoned Raid Camp. So, Wraith Invader definitely was not the play, but I guess we're going to go ahead and try and rock it. And just see how much damage that we can go ahead and take out with our Pavium here. But, we finally got that second base set up. We need to start getting some resources on there in order to go ahead and improve our economy because our economy is not the greatest right now. Why moves doing great and the Wraith Invader is actually not doing bad. But now Orange is trying to come in for the flank and this is going to be a little bit problematic. They're doing a great hijack and there goes my one and only Wraith Invader that I have going on here. But at least their Spartan is going to be stuck in that Wraith Invader nevertheless unless they choose to get out of it. So. I'm going to at least push this army back just a little bit, which is nice to see, but we're still in this weird predicament here where we're not really going to be able to do much damage here. We cleared out Orange's army, but at what cost? We have lost a little bit of an army. We have a chance to get rid of the Spartan, but we have to go ahead and retreat. It's just too much. So we will make a second Wraith Invader. And I get it. Oh. This is an interesting play. Light Blue came all the way over to help us out, which is nice to see. But unfortunately, it's like Yellow doesn't, Light Blue doesn't really have an army either. We're in this like weird situation. Now we're going double air pads, and we're finally gonna get Mega Turrets. Good cleansing beam is coming down, and with the heals happening, that's gonna be really nice. But because of this, we're not gonna have the ability for our buildings to go ahead and continue to heal up, which is a little bit unfortunate. But we're starting to get some siege on the left hand side and we're slowly building up our expansion base but I really don't know what the play is from here. I think the play here is to use the siege to go ahead and try and continue to push the left hand side or pressure mid and then work on getting mega turrets on the second base and our economy going on that side to see if we can do something about it. So. Our first blister back is being set, which is nice to see. But they do have vision, they do have cloak. No, they don't have cloak yet. But this is going to be incredibly hard. I know we have blister backs, but there's no way we can have consistent vision up that ramp. And so it's best to go ahead and just retreat that and see if we can go ahead and make a push elsewhere. Shield gen will come up on the right hand side, which is nice to see. 
But with them getting all five power notes too, remember, two power notes equal one gen. So they essentially have two and a half free gens right now. But we're going to try and go with this push nevertheless. We do have some blisterbacks which are going to help. We're going to split them up just a little bit so we can continue to put some pressure on this left hand side. And the blisterbacks are doing a magnificent job by the way. And burnout is ready. We're going to go ahead and use that. And now they're using a cleansing beam with an Isabel Mac combo. We're going to lose practically all our engineers and our hero is taking significant damage. But our mega turret is still doing strong. We're getting our supply game going. And now we have to retreat one blister back because they're trying to go ahead and push that. But we placed everything relatively well where it's not really going to be such a huge problem. I also do wish our Pavium was upgraded but unfortunately it is not. But hello. They're coming in with a double prong attack on our base. These blisterbacks are not going to last much longer. And now we're having a full blown collapse on this left side of the lane. We're trying to hold it, but with shrouds and with everything that orange has and yellow at my base, there's not really much we can do. So we're gonna start working on this expansion base and see if we can just continue to chip off some units. But we're practically at zero units right now. And we're going to go ahead and just start retreating to our base. We're going to make a second mega turret if we're making one. I don't know why we didn't let the gen finish because we're going to lose this base. But green is trying to show up with some air to help out. Which is nice but I don't think it's going to be enough. If I had rain of fire that would be great. But I chose wraith invaders instead. But a condor is out ready to go. The pavium is starting to go ahead and do some work over here. And now that the Condor is here, maybe we're going to have an opportunity to just do a little ooh, great Y move coming in from the Condor, getting rid of the Spartan on a plethora of units around that. And it looks like we may be able to hold this. The Shield Gen is going to come up and the Condor is just doing magnificent work. But now we're getting sieged on our side as well. And we're making, we made that extra Mega Turret on that side, which is nice. But we don't have an economy anymore. And we chose to prioritize Mega Turret over the Gen. Fortunately, fortunately, we still have one gen remaining, but we're being stripped pretty darn hard. But with the Pavium here, it's going to help at least repair some of our structures. Would have been great if I was able to get the full restore associated with it, but I do not. And the Siege is just continuously doing some great pressure on my base. So now I'm stuck in this weird situation, right? War console needs to come up. I hope we get some upgrades for our pavilion because that's what's really going to help us. But instead, we're going to go ahead and prioritize getting upgrades for our mega turrets, which it can be a big game changer. If we have some mega turrets upgraded on this side, it can at least keep the right side protected for a little bit. While I continue to figure out what my economy is going to look like down the line, hopefully, there we go, we got full salvage, so that's going to at least help us out a little bit. And let's see if we'll get fortification or any sort of upgrades. Yeah, our Pavium is hurting. He needs some upgrades and he's not getting them at the moment. So, looking at the situation, Light Blue has a relatively good army. Red's army has been wiped. Green has a Condor, but that's about it. And I just have two Mega Turrets on one side of the map. So, it's not really looking too hot for us. But we're going to slowly bring this economy back for us. And with the Mega Turret Assist... Hopefully Red can make good decisions in order to go ahead and get the backup from the Mega Turrets on that side. A little bit of a plus as well. Oh, hold on. There's going to be ourselves a big attack coming in from Orange. But it's going to go ahead and get Mac. And that's going to be nice. But now Yellow is going to be coming in as well. And we do have a second sensor tower. We're going to just self-destruct that right away. We're going to use our Y move with the Pavium. And it's going to be used on the Marauder, which won't be that bad. But it does look like they're going to go ahead and try and focus down on the Condor. But Vultures are being made as well, which is going to be nice. Heal is went down. We're going to check up our base because we're going to actually need an economy here. And I'm going to need a gen at some point. Great Y moves are coming in. And Eradication just pretty much stripped my base entirely all over again. Now... If I made some engineers, that would be great to go ahead and help out the condor that's happening over here. But I can't seem to get any sort of resources up at the moment. I have been on quite the struggle bus, but... Red's making good headway on the right hand side, and we're finally having a grunt to go ahead and start capturing some of the nodes back because we need it. So we got two power nodes, which is going to be nice, because that acts as my third gen for me. And here comes a cleansing beam that's coming down on the army. 
I think green's kind of over committing here and green needs to start falling back. But green's going to go ahead and commit towards the cause. And like I mentioned, engineers would do great for his army. So that is what I'm going to go ahead and try and prioritize now. A bet one condor is now out, which is also very nice. And they're going to work on trying to clear out the siege that is on the side. But then Ghost of the Machine gets used and it pretty much gets his whole army. My Pavium's going to start trying to run for his life. But he's going to take a lot of damage. And so it looks like my main base will actually probably get destroyed this time around. I have to go ahead and focus it down. My moves is getting used on my base, but it survives. And now yellow's coming in with the push. Y moves used on the condor to get rid of the reavers. But unfortunately, it with. So, a bunch of more reavers are showing up this time. And so this is the cue the condor needs to leave. If the condor wants to survive, it needs to get out of there. I'm going to use burnout. And it's not like burnout's going to help that much. But this condor is taking way too much damage right now. My pavium is gone, nowhere to exist. And we're gonna go ahead and upgrade our expansion base now because we need to. And there goes the vet one condor. And there goes my base on the left hand side. They got blister back set up too. They got siege turrets set up. I appreciate the Atriox Barox to try to keep the base alive, but honestly, this base, it's done. There's nothing we can do about it. I accidentally put up the text box. But that wasn't part of the plan. So now, we're going to go ahead and improvise. Okay, we're going to switch to Foundry. We're going to get our War Council up. And it looks like Red is making a decent push over here. I mean, Light Blue is doing a decent push on Red. But now it's going to be up to Blue, myself, and Green to hold off this side of the lane when Yellow and Orange have so many bases. So then that way, Red can go ahead and try and eliminate... Well, light blue can go ahead and try and eliminate red. You can see I have a huge fixation to try and get rid of red. Because that's the weakest lane. That's their only option over here. So, Navium's going to come out. We're going to start getting the upgrade. We have Lynch Vanguard now if we need to. We don't have the greatest economy. Two upgraded supply pads and a gen. But remember, we have three power nodes now. So that acts as if I have 1.5 gens right there. Light blue's doing a great job, got rid of red's base, and now yellow has to figure out how to go ahead and apply pressure. Fun fact, if yellow and orange went and attacked my base right now, which is what they're going to go ahead and do, they're probably going to be put in a very good spot. So, But we have a lynch vanguard if we need to use it. We got ourselves a great mac that's going to come in, a spectacular mac. And we have a lynch vanguard if we need to use it, and we're going to go ahead and maybe use it. Yep, we did end up using it. Because of this, the cloaking gen's going to keep ourselves protected. Pavium is now out. Ninja Vanguard is going to go ahead and push all this stuff back. And it looks like Light Blue just needs to get rid of Red's base at the top, which means I can go ahead and see if I can get my base back at the bottom. Because Orange and Yellow are shifting up to go ahead and deal with Light Blue. Light Blue is doing a magnificent job. If there's any MVP right here, it is Light Blue and then Green. I don't even deserve to be called a teammate right now and so i need to make up for that i need to show that i can be a teammate the condor is going to start attacking on this left hand side and if we can get rid of the base there that would be relatively nice so we're going to see if we're going to be able to do that and we're going to make some more wraiths wraith invaders still can't believe i did that decision but huge double team is happening on the right hand side between light blue and red but we do have mega turrets that are doing some magnificent work the Condor is also doing some great work as well. Reavers are going to go ahead and zone out the Nightingales. So then that way they don't have heals anymore. And our Isabel popped the heal of their own to go ahead and heal their units. But the Mega Turrets are doing a magnificent job. Great wide move from the Pavium. And now the all units keeps taking our Reaver away to see if the expansion base is there. And we were able to get rid of the expansion base on yellow. They tried to put the stasis but the stasis was a little bit too late. So we're starting to get some momentum here. We're going to stick to vehicle play. And we have Mega Turrets helping on the right hand side. So even though a base was lost by orange, by yellow, they still have two more bases. So we still need to figure out a way for us to get a better economy going for ourselves. Finally, Pavium is looking like to get, we're going to get its upgrade, maybe. And the Condor is still doing some magnificent work on this side. It's killing a lot of units. They're trying to streamline reinforcements to deal with the Condor. And because of that... They're kind of whiffing on opportunities over here. 
on trying to just get a large enough army to deal with the Condor. So this is going to be my cue to grab the expansion base on the left hand side. We want to get that expansion base, get some mega turrets. Finally we're upgrading our Pavium for reals this time. And now I'm going to have to try and help hold back Orange over here, which is just a bunch of Reavers. I mean Wolverines and a great line move from that Condor. And we're going to be able to easily push this back, which is going to be nice. We have some Locusts. None of our vehicles are upgraded, by the way. But I think we're still going to be okay here. There we go. See, just like how I mentioned it, all of a sudden I wanted to go ahead and upgrade vehicles. So we have our Grunts to go ahead and start capturing the node. We're going to prevent the base from happening on that left-hand side. Our now will be used on our two supply pads or gen. And finally, we got ourselves a second gen being made. So slowly but surely, we're crawling back into this game and Light Blue with the Scarab just walking around, stunting, just doing everything that they can to try and get rid of bases. It's working right now because here comes a base by Red that's going to get destroyed. A bunch of Reavers are being made as well to protect the Scarab in case there is an air transition. Now that we have all the supply, we can go ahead and make another gen. And now we're going to go try and go for a big push on this left side. Now, I don't really have the army comp to go ahead and fight this, but shoot, we're going to try to. We have some reavers to deal with the nightingales and the vultures that we see. We immediately lost one, and clearly they want to get rid of my reavers, and because of that, we were able to micro that right away. But now, yellow has shown up on our side. Ghost of the Machine was used though to go ahead and get some of Yellow's army, which means I have the option to make a shield gen or a mega turret, and the shield gen is coming. Light Blue is doing a great job pressuring Red on the other side of the map. So if we're able to just distract these two and keep the 1v1 on that side, they're going to be able to do some good work, but we're going to have to retreat for now. We lost our whole vehicle army, and it's not like we have the economy to go ahead and support this. So instead of making additional units, we're going to instead do the next best thing. Best thing which is to go ahead and do upgrades for our vehicles and not make any units because we don't have another foundry set up. So definitely these decisions that are being made is not the best. All yellow has to do is come to my base. But we do have rain of fire. We're getting a shield gen up. We're getting a sensor tower up. And it does look like light blue is just going to go ahead and try and save red. And because of that, they missed the perfect opportunity to attack my expansion base. Hunters are a problem and they will be a problem for our teammate over there. So hopefully they're going to be able to adapt. We are ready to do a rain of fire to go ahead and zone this out. I was trying to be a little bit more patient with it, but it looks like I was not able to do so. But we're going to at least push them back for now, which is going to be nice because the next step would be continue getting sensor towers and then see if we can go ahead and get the mega turrets on this base. But now here they come. Here comes the Y move for the Condor. And we comboed it with the Y move of the Pavium. And because of that, that did a lot of damage with everything around it. Condor is going to continue to do some good work protecting that base. Light Blue is now establishing a third base on the right hand side. Our Lynch Vanguard is ready. But an eradication is coming down. A lot of it is hologram. And it's going to help zone out Isabel because the heavy metal was used to help protect everything that was there. So. We have our second foundry up. We're finally going to start making some anti-air. We're getting our one and only mega turret. Light blue is now going to be engaging red. And the scarab is on its last legs over here. But unbreaking is going to be used. And if light blue holds off yellow there, that means all that's left is orange that's on the side. Light blue is putting the team on his back as Atriox. Just doing a magnificent job. My reavers are going to just continue to try and push back the reavers and even though wolverines i mean they have we have a level one condor again when did that even happen i have no idea this game's getting a little bit interesting because there's actually comeback potential here we're gonna go ahead and upgrade both turrets light blue senses the ability is there two condors green has two condors but they don't have the detection to go ahead and start focusing down on the base but now you're seeing some banshee play coming in from yellow which is definitely going to be a little bit of a problem but my reavers have shown up we're going to keep our reavers in there to go ahead and get rid of as much air as possible ghost of the machine will be used on the left condor 
So now they they need to retreat. If not, they're going to go ahead and lose the Condor of their own. We made an additional grunt to go ahead and capture stuff, but not much we really can do right now. But we're falling back, and it looks like, oh, the Condor has been stasis, but I think we can save this. They tried to time it with the Mac. Heal comes in. I would love to see if this Condor is going to go ahead and live, and no. Another Vet 1 Condor is gone because I was not there to provide the assist with the Reavers. Little bit unfortunate, but we still have Mega Turret support. We still have our support and I mean our leader. And we're going to go with a second Mega Turret on this left hand side. So now we're going to be able to dominate the ground. We have some Reavers for anti-air. We're taking the power node on the left. Now Light Blue is going to go for another big attack on that right hand side. Which means, with the combo of the Mega Turrets on this left hand side, my leader and some Reavers, we can go ahead and get ourselves a good push. And here it comes. We've taken out Nightingales right away, and then some tanks have shown up. We can't, de we can't deal with those tanks. So, Hologram is being popped. There's a bunch of units. I have to keep my Reavers alive, right? So, we're just going to keep this nice, like, distance game uh, where we're going to continue the siege. And I don't really know what the next point we're going to go ahead and use. I think Enduring Will. Nope. Orbital Designator is the way we're going to go here. But Yellow has shown up with their Banshees. We do have some Reavers to deal with this. And we do have a Reign of Fire if we need to use it. But that's a lot of units. Oh, a great Reign of Fire would be used on that mini base if we chose to use it. If we combo that with the Y move of the Pavian, that would have been super nice. But unfortunately, that was a little bit hard to accomplish there. So... We're sitting pretty at our base. We're going to go for a cloaking gen, maybe, or it could be a sensor tower. Who knows? But we're going to get our upgrades for our fourth mega turret. And now we just need to fall back, gain our shield gen. They have blister back set up. Oh, now we have a good rain of fire opportunity over here. And that's exactly what we're going to go ahead and do. Let's zone them out and make them regret the decision of trying to push at this choke point. Rain of fire is doing so much damage. We're going to start retreating just a little bit. But the Pavium's going to try and hold his own until all of a sudden he's getting targeted down. But he did such a great job holding them off. And Red has been eliminated by Light Blue. Which means Yellow needs to come in to try and save his own base now. They have some good blister back set up. Alright. But I think we have an opportunity now to go ahead and finish this through. We're getting the air pad because we're going to need the heals. And the blister backs are now being targeted. Which means I can finally move out of our base. Plenty Beam is going to come down on our Atriox over here. But Atriox Burox is coming in. But we're going to call in our Lynch Vanguard because I have to help my team out over there somehow. They've done so much. And so we're going to start making some Reavers. I guess we're going to make some Locusts. I think Reavers was the better play. But Eradication is going to come down. Why move for the Scarab will come in. And we're going to finally break the push on Orange. Meanwhile, I don't know what's going to be the situation from Yellow. But they're trying to produce a lot of Reavers. Wolverine, but they're not going to be able to. The base is going to get taken care of with the Condor and the Hornets that we have. And now, Orange is in shambles. We can now push Orange's second base. Yep, that is correct. Second base. We're going to start making air of our own now. I don't... We don't even have the upgrades for it, so I don't understand that decision. But hey, we sent a Reaver out to go ahead and die right away on that expansion base because of all units. But... With my Reavers, we've got it. Orange has now self-destructed, which means all that's left is Yellow. And Yellow was still alive from that push with the Aatrox going on the high ground of Mac to finish off the expansion base. And what a comeback. Light Blue, Apple Pie 57 coming in to save us. And Green with the Condors protecting me. Well, who was the biggest crux in this game? Leave the comment. If you say anybody else but me, that is a shame. Because I was the crux for our team this time. But a celebratory eradication is coming in. But they resigned before that even happens. We may not see much of the stat screen here. Which is going to be a little bit of a shame. But what a game. What a game. 44 for 75. Hey, I was at least efficient. And there we go. Apple Pie, 54 for 144. Dark Sentinel, 81 for 99. Just, what a game. I hope you enjoyed it. It was such a great game to commentate. And shout out to Orange and Yellow just pinning me down from the very beginning. With that being said, enjoy the rest of your day, evening, afternoon, or morning. Keep being awesome. And until the next commentary video.